Back at 815 with our special series and one of our favorites, Shark Watch on Today. I like it. Our focus this morning, the great white. They've been called the king of the deep, and now they're surprising scientists in a whole new way. Yes, our resident shark expert is on the case. NBC senior national correspondent Carrie Sanders on the open waters this morning in search of sharks. Hi, Carrie. Well, good morning, and we have found sharks. We're more than six miles off the coast here. This is in federal water, so we're allowed to chum the waters here. So if you take a look over my shoulder here, you can see the sharks that have gathered. These are silkies and sandbars. If we take a look from above, you can see that at some point there had been more than a dozen of the sharks surrounding our boat, but most impressive is to go underwater here and take a look at what we've seen here this morning with these sharks circling here. Now, as I noted, the great white occasionally is in this area and also in the Pacific. And what we discovered with some scientists from the Monterey Bay Aquarium is those juvenile great white sharks are on the move. We're with Monterey Bay Aquarium's director of collections, John O'Sullivan, on their research vessel. Two hour trip north in Monterey Bay to a spot just off Brighton State Beach when a spotter points. What do you say? This is exciting, coming across juvenile great whites in the wild, so close to shore. This one, about nine feet in length. On this day, we come across four. So here's another juvenile white shark up at the surface, moving through this area. He's transiting pretty fast, probably twice the speed that we would normally be walking at. He's just below the surface. Together, we monitored a live image from a drone. This was something similar that we would see for years in Southern California, but now this is happening off uh, Monterey Bay. Unheard of a decade ago because the water here was just too cold, but in 2014, things changed. We had a heat wave, what they called the blob, and it was a very large warm water mass that came along the coast that raised the temperature from around 55 degrees up to almost 68. Using data from more than 20 years of tagging sharks in Southern California, researchers discovered a newly created warm water corridor that was inviting sharks to travel more than 200 miles away. What is it about the warm water that is a draw? Well, juvenile white sharks can't regulate their temperature like adults. Adults are big, they have a large girth and mass to their volume ratio, so they can retain heat, and which allows them to move into cold water. Juveniles don't have that yet. Great whites are considered one of the most aggressive species of sharks and have since engaged with humans in Monterey Bay. Two years ago, surfer Ben Kelly was killed by a great white, and just four weeks ago, a suspected great white attacked 61-year-old Steve Broomer as he was swimming. What are we to make of this? It was a very unfortunate event uh, for the victim, and our hearts go out to him and his family. Um, but this kind of illustrates the challenges with humans going into the water. The ocean can't times be dangerous. Playing a key role in the research, these amazing videos that were taken by off-duty firefighter Eric Maylander. A shark enthusiast with his drone, Maylander once filmed as many as 30 different juvenile great whites in just a three-quarter mile square zone. When you started to see juvenile great whites, what did you think? I thought it was cool. The, my favorite shark is my own backyard. So, or one of the few places in the world, I should say, that you can see white sharks in their natural environment. So you're not baiting them in, you're not attracting them. They're just there. He kept unusually detailed notes with every flight, a stunning eight years worth, a treasure trove of citizen science data that he shared with researchers. It didn't take long to be convinced with the quality of video that, no, these are juvenile white sharks. Earlier this year, the aquarium and their partners released their research, over 80 million data points from tagged sharks, like location, depth, and water temperature, so other scientists can learn more about the shark's movements. As ocean temperatures continue to climb, scientists wonder where might juvenile great whites show up next? So as we look at the sharks here, and again, these are silkies and sandbar sharks, the experts at Monterey Bay Aquarium say that the great whites moving into that area now further north 
do have impacts. Because they're juveniles, they're still learning to feed themselves, and they've been hitting on the sea otters, which are not on their diet, but they don't yet know that. So they're finding more injured and dead sea otters there. So you see how one impacts the next and impacts the next in that circle of life, guys. Indeed. Wow. We, we just hope you're tethered to the side of that boat, oh. Carrie. It's scary watching you right there. Before we <laughs> let you go, we do want to hear uh, about your story for tomorrow. It's off the coast of Carolina where you've done, uh, you dove in with researchers. You studied that famous shipwreck. Tell us about it. Yeah. It, it's, it's a fascinating look at the sand tiger shark. Now, we're going to go down tomorrow to about 90, close to 100 feet on the Carib Sea. That's a World War II vessel that was sunk there. The reason we're going there is for the longest time, scientists believed that sand tigers gave birth close to shore. But, and you will find out tomorrow, there may be a wrinkle in that long-held theory, guys. Oh, uh, there's a tease. Thank you, Carrie. Be safe, Carrie. Uh -huh. uh, you, you've been with sharks. You've yeah. been swimming with sharks. Yeah, we've done a few shark dives. Uh, mm -hmm. Once in a cage, twice free, free range. Really? Free? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, it, it's intense, but it's kind of cool. You know? What kind of sharks? Uh, sand sharks, nurse sharks. You know, a couple of times. Those, those juvenile sharks are like middle schoolers. Like, yeah, yeah. They're, well, they're trying to figure out how to eat on their own. Yeah. Hormones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, how to do laundry. <laughs> they have to get carded. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy. Anyway. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.